All right, let's look at how um, lines or, or linear functions can relate to each other. So I've got a um, I've got a coordinate plane here with three different functions graphed upon it, and uh, these are color coded so you see what matches up with with what. So I've got uh, the, the three linear equations that that govern these lines that that determine where these lines go, um, or, or, or in other words, these lines are graphical representations of these uh, relationships that are described in algebra. So um, let's see what we notice here. Um, there's different kinds of relationships that lines can have with each other. Um, b basically, lines can be par parallel to each other. So this kind of beige one and the green one are parallel to each other, which means they don't cross. That's what parallel means. Uh, you know, so this line goes on forever in that direction, and so does this line, and they'll they'll never cross, right? So that's what it means to be parallel. Um, so these two lines are parallel to each other, uh, whereas the uh, the red line intersects with both the beige and the and the green line. Okay. The other possibility is that two lines could be the same line. Um, you know, if th if those lined up, those are those are the same line. Maybe their equations are expressed in different forms, but it, it, it ends up ends up being the same line. All right, now I'm well. Where's this thing supposed to go? Let's see there. Okay, so um, how do you tell if lines are parallel to each other, or if they cross, or if actually it's the same line? Um, or well you can graph them and just look. But if you don't have time to graph them, or or if the exercise just is to know this stuff from the equations, uh, you got to figure out a, a way to just know these things without having to graph them. So look at these two parallel lines for starters. Um, what I mean, ignoring the f the equations for a second. What would you say? What can you observe about their slopes or the steepness of these lines? Well, it looks like the slope is the same, right? It has the same, you know, these lines are pointed. Uh, they're kind of at the same angle, the same slant, the same slope. So parallel lines have the same slope, um, but they're not. Um, that's the only thing. Let's see. They have the same slope, but they pass through different points. Okay. So, for example, the y-intercept of the beige line is, is 1, whereas the y-intercept of the green one is negative 2. So, they have the same slope, but pass through different points. They have different intercepts. Um, you get different values of, of y when you plug in the same value of x. You know, stuff like that. So, here, you know, so here are these, um, the equations in slope-intercept form. And you can see, indeed, in fact, the beige line and the green line have both have a slope of one. Okay, uh, the number by which x is being multiplied in the slope-intercept form is is the slope. So they both have they have the same slope, but you can see they have different y-intercepts. All right, so that's how you tell if if two lines are parallel to each other. Do they have the same slope, um, but the equations are different? Um, or they they have the same slope. Actually, you should get the, the equations in the same form so you can make an accurate comparison. So do they have the same slope, but they pass through different points? Then they are parallel. Um, do they have different slopes? Then they intersect. Okay, so um, the slope of the red line is 4, and the slope of the green line is 1. Therefore, we know just on the basis of that that they are intersecting lines. All right, so let's let's look at these equations and try to you know match them up. So um, some of these are in slope-intercept form, some are not. All right, so these two lines are parallel. Um, they're parallel, so they have the same slope, one half, but they have different y-intercepts. They go through different points. So the y-intercepts here, this this line goes straight through the origin. Um, this line does not, but they have the same slope. So these these are parallel. Um, it, this would also be parallel with the others. Um, same slope, passes through different points though. All right. Um, these two obviously are the same line. Now, what about 
you know, let's look at this one. Um, how about this one compared to these three? You might say, well, um, you know, this looks different, so I'm guessing they intersect. Right? Um, that's true, they might intersect, but you don't know that for sure. Get get the equations in the same form so you can so you can compare them accurately. All right, so let's 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 change this guy into slope intercept form, uh, and then it might become clear whether this is parallel or if it's an intersecting line. So let's so we want to get y by itself over on the left, and then everything else on the other side. Um, so let's uh, let's add six x to get that negative six out of there, negative six x. Okay, so we've got two y equals. By the way, this is the standard form of of a linear equation. So I'm going to turn it into slope intercept form. Um, so we have 2y equals 6x minus 16. Uh, now we're going to divide both sides by 2 to get that y by itself. So this thing is equivalent to y equals so 6x divided by 2 is 3x. Uh, negative 16 divided by 2 is, is negative 8. So this equation in slope-intercept form is ne uh, y equals negative uh, y equals positive 3x. Sorry, I couldn't read my own writing. Uh, a good reason why uh, it's important to write neatly when you do math problems. Y equals 3x minus 8. Okay, so actually it turns out that this this line is the same line as this line. It just didn't look like it because it's in a different form. So check to see, um, you know, do the math, th change into a different form, or change it to the same form as the, the line to which you're comparing it to, to you know, to make sure. So uh, this is the same line, just in, di in these two are the same line, just different in different forms. Okay, what about this? It looks pretty similar to these guys, but uh, a slope of negative three is not the same as a slope of positive three. So actually, this line and this line would intersect. You know, this line intersects that line, and that line actually intersects all these lines because it has a different slope from all of these, uh, all these lines. All right. So there's three different things that can happen. Um, you're comparing two equations for lines. Might be that they're the same line. Um, get both the equations in the same form so you can make an accurate comparison. Uh, it could be the same line. They could be parallel lines, which means they have the same slope, but they pass through different points. And it's easiest to see that, I think, if it's uh, if it's in slope-intercept form. You can see the slope, and then you can see the y-intercept. So if it has the same slope, but different y-intercepts, boom, uh, parallel. And then if, it has, if the two lines have different slopes, they're intersecting lines.